So this is another live review that I'm going to be recording because I want to put out videos while I'm away for vacation. So this video is actually one of the shine matches that I didn't see. This is COG Void versus Slenderman. Now, Void is someone who I'm in his stream a good amount. I consider him a good friend. Um, I'm kind of... So, it's weird, because although I'm super happy that he stayed with his team from pre-patch, I wanted him to change his team, because I feel like he's good enough and smart enough to where he can pick up a new team, but at the same time, I think he's good enough and smart enough that he can make use of this team, and that I don't think was nerfed too bad, especially because I think Bardock is probably the second best at the moment. But Kid Boo was hit a little bit. Uh, some of his mix-ups were changed, but uh, some people didn't even use those mix-ups anyway. And there are pretty good mix-up replacements that you can do to get past what Kid Boo lost. The thing about it, though, is that the biggest nerf to Kid Buu, in my opinion, was his damage. But Kid Buu was so insane in pressure that he shouldn't have been able to kill in two hits in the first place. So that's where I'm at with this. I think that this team is still very viable, especially, in my opinion, with the way Void plays. But yeah, we're going to watch this polls match. And Stone Demand is actually using Vegito, Goku, and Goku. So he has three Gokus and a Vegito on this team. So this is actually four versus three. And it's actually cheat. Alright, let's actually get into the match though. Let's mute this. Because I don't care about their commentary. I want to talk about the game myself. So before this even starts. One thing, one reason why I enjoy watching Void play and what I expect to see, I kind of expect this to be, I don't want to say a wash. I haven't seen this match, so I don't want to say I expect this to be a wash, but it could very easily, the way Void plays fighters, because, I don't know, he, I, he forces you in situations where you either try to pick an aggressive way out and lose, or you could possibly lose a lot, or try to lose as little as possible, but you're still going to be in disadvantage afterwards, even if you do lose a little. And if you lose a lot, you'll still be in disadvantage. So no matter what, if Void takes advantage, then you're probably either going to be forced in a bad situation, or that character is just going to be gone. So I really appreciate that because a lot of people, I feel like, don't necessarily see that as... They don't... I, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people let you get away with too much. Sometimes I think Void can be a little bit too greedy. But let's see what ends up happening in this match. And... I feel like he tried to whiff punish that light, but it lasted a little bit longer than he anticipated. I wonder why he got hit there. Maybe he was hoping for a stagger. Nice side switch. I agree. And then you guessed wrong. And that's a character. Because you were too afraid to do anything while in disadvantage, you just got command grabbed. Bardock level 3. That was a nice change because he already used super dash, so you needed to call him Bardock to continue on the combo. Guess wrong after the beam assist. This should be a dead Goku. Alright. Level 1, level 1 into Kid Buu. 
Oh wait, no. He's just gonna. Okay. And then you have base Goku. Well, this is what your job is supposed to be. Everybody thinks you're gonna be the best. Uh... Nice backdash. Everybody thinks you're gonna be the best uh, anchor in the game. Let's see what you do. I think base Goku also has the worst Kamehameha in the game. Or, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But this is dead Goku anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Oof. That is not a safe option at all. So let's look at why that was not a smart option, right? One of my favorite things to do is to just back off and play neutral. And that's what a lot of good players do, actually. They'll just back up and play neutral. So if you're going to do a slow move that just propels you forward he didn't even he didn't even really commit to it like he didn't even although it didn't matter because he just got hit right out of it so i don't even think he would have had a chance he probably would have gotten hit out of the 2m also but oopsie he does 2l void just backs up also 2l is like 15 frames that's a slow move. It looks pretty fast because of the fact that he just jumps at you pretty quickly. But that move is slow. Void just backdashes. Two M's. He didn't even have to worry about assist. Like, if you're going to do that, at least call out a beam assist, though. Wait for that to set up. Could have called out Goku assist. Give Void something to respect or think about. But not. Nah, he just two L's and got two M'd for it. And now you're going to be in disadvantage. See, that's some of what I was talking about when I say Void is a little bit too greedy. Because, in my opinion... So, I understand why... Because you're pretty much snowballing. You snowballed the last game super, super hard, right? And you don't have to respect this guy at all. But let's look at the... He could have he poked out of this dagger. So, so the thing about it, though, is... Hmm, what could he have... I guess he could poke out with, with 5L or 5M. But you're void, right? You have him in the corner. You can say, okay, he has two assist. Vegito will probably die in one more touch. But I want to keep pressure. I, in order to do that, I either have to use bar or I have to stagger. He could possibly poke out and make me regret that decision, especially because I don't have any assist. So, in my opinion, especially, maybe maybe with this kid, Boo, it's not as effective. But one thing that I think about doing is I'd backdash here and reset things. Not even It's not even necessarily even a reset because what is he going to do? He's going to try to, he, he, could, he could either, with Vegito... Because Vegito doesn't really have any good beam assist or anything. He could either try to come forward and to commit to some type of offense in neutral. To which you can make him hang himself for. Or he can switch. Which you can also punish. I think that would be a better option than to stagger here. Maybe stagger one or two hits and then back off. But I don't think that...
Because in all actuality, he should have gotten he should have gotten punished for that command grab. But I don't think that that the decision to stagger is a bad one. It's just a greedy one. And if that's what this that's the place how you want, and if you're going to commit to it, then I think it's fine. It's Bardock using his uh a broken medium, broken air medium. This isn't a dead Goku, but he's gonna get mixed. And Goku doesn't have the greatest defensive options, so command grab? Nah. He probably would have gotten hit by a command grab too, but he's dead anyway. It doesn't matter. But, I mean, not command grab. Why did I say command grab? Dragon Rush is what I meant to say. Because, call out the assist, fall, Dragon Rush. People are so busy looking at the assist, like, oh my gosh, kid, boo ball. Dragon Rush gets beat up. Yeah. And you get a lot of bar from it. Wow, he really just ran into <laughs> I'm confused what happened here so he ran into 5M into Lariat and I, pr I think he should be able to because it's not like he got hit into assist so he should be able to block oh because he got hit by a low he's trying to block high he got hit by a low but he's already crouching why was he crouching when he got hit by the 5M and then he started standing up? Like, there you should automatically just be crouch blocking because he's not going to... You can If he tries to jump, you can react to that. He's not going to fuzzy you. You're not Cell. And you're already crouching anyway. So, yeah. I don't... I don't... I don't know. I guess that's what happens when you're just getting snowballed on. Like, I, I shouldn't say I don't know. Like, I understand it. It's pretty... When you're being pressured so much and you don't know what to do, sometimes you just get flustered and you just make weird options. Like, his in his head, he probably wasn't even trying to block when he ran forward. He's probably trying to throw out, like... Uh, he's probably trying to go throw out Goku's low, or it should be 2M. So he got hit in the middle of throwing out Goku's low, which is why he was crouching. And his first reaction was just to block, cold back. Not to crouch block. He just he wanted to just get out of that situation. Or he's probably trying to back dash. So he just got caught. By Bardock's lows. <clears throat> he's been getting hit by that jump heavy all game too. <laughs> Hmm. What? I mean, that was a good tip. And so, this is most likely not what he was thinking. Oh, that's not death, though, because he's in sparking, so he shouldn't die at least. But in that situation, at least you get to slow things down and think, right? You call out Sparrow Bomb. They can't really do anything unless they vanish. That's committing bar, though. But at least he got to th slow things down and think. But, nah, he just, that was just, uh... That was just, uh... Oppression. That was... I know that feeling, man. I know that feeling. That was hard. But, yeah. Good games. Um, Hopefully, people enjoyed that. I don't know. That was, a, that was a little bit more stompy than I thought it would be. Maybe this is round one polls, though. But yeah, this is King Dub 7 signing off. Peace.